Hey Jeff from the Big Sky Airship here. With an empty E ship to rental. It's July 2020. See, so we got a fire pit right there. And we're underway in construction of a rocket mass heater. We'll have a grill top. And then we'll also have a heated bench. Uh, this is the core based on Matt at Walker Stoves. Bought his plans. Um, and I've got a little dry stack of brick here that I'll probably take off and mortar back in. Uh, but we're underway. See you soon. Hey, Jeff from the Big Sky Airship here. So I'm building this uh, rocket mass heater uh, grill top. Uh, it's gonna be a bench and bell method heater. So there'll be no stove pipe through the bench. Uh, we're gonna use the stratification method. Um, sorry, I'll get out of the shadow here. Uh, so basically, we are going to be dropping heat into that bench. The mass is going to be grabbing that heat. Uh, heat rises. It's going to cool as the mass grabs the heat. It's going to settle low and it's going to head for that stove pipe, which is going to be very low. And that'll be the exit. And uh, the heat should be uh, significantly reduced by the time it leaves that stove pipe. Uh, that stove pipe is a four inch and I I'm going to have to get an eight inch. It's not gonna be big enough. Any rate, um, my friend Dione helped me uh, put this design together. Otherwise it might look like shit. Yo, we're building the rocket mass bench grill top. It's uh, July late and <laughs> we're trying to get a grill up for everybody instead of using the propane. And Niles on the masonry job. So we're using the bell system uh, with heat stratification uh, for this rocket mass grilled top heater bench. See how that holds up in the winter. So I'll put a Coleman grill on top of this per bro audio. So we'll grill on top. We'll collect the flue gases into the coffin chamber and that heat is going to come out of the bottom of the barrel there. It's going to stratify and the temperature is gonna to rise towards the top where the mass is going to steal uh, the heat. There's your exit, and that will come up, and that is lower than the intake. So the cold will be pushed down by the new hot air coming into the top of the bench, and it will find its exit hopefully cooler than when it came in. I know the brickwork looks horrible, but just wait, it'll get worse. Oh, we are under construction. We have a few more bricks to put in up to the barrel and seal. Here's where the hot flue gases will be coming out into the bench where the mass will be stealing it. You know, the workmanship is uh, mediocre at best. Um, and I'm not sure if it's gonna work actually at all. But uh, if it doesn't, well then we'll just have a uh, permanent <laughs> fucking piece here. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but here's our vertical feed lined with fire brick, horizontal burn. It'll come up through the barrel, through the top where the Coleman grill will sit on top. This is what it looks like now. It's going to look different later. Adios, amigos. All right, YouTubers. October 1st, 2020, the year of the Karanis. We were able to get the rocket mass grill top bench heater complete. And 
and that is the vertical feed. That is the bench that'll be warmed. That is the exhaust exit. Food will be cooked right here. And you can see the refractory insulation inside. Maybe, maybe not. We did burn this one time. Cooked some elk tenderloins on it. They were delicious. The bench was hot. So this will be right next to the bonfire pit. Create some extra heat, be able to sit out here in the winter. Next summer we'll build the uh, Rocket Mass Batch Pizza Oven right next to Doggy Doolittle. Thanks for watching.